distribution. He's got the ball in his hands here. Oh, and even drops that one there. Here we go. I think he's got way too much on that one, although Gax has given a chase. Might be a bad ball in the end from the keeper. Gaxa into the penalty area. Could be an early chance for Kerry if it fall in the way of McGrath. It will fall though to a Kerry player inside the area and there's a shot on goal from Martin Coughlin. But that flies over. And that's a oh. ball down the line by Martin Coughlin but that'll run straight out of play. But with the the breeze being so strong it does seem to be maybe favouring Kerry in this first half. Longford won't want to give away oh. too many throw-ins I don't think. And Jack Brady with a sloppy ball out. And this is a chance for Gaxa. Oh, that's a big let. That's a big let off there for Longford. Uh, Brady tried to take the come all a bit here now and they're probably allowing Longford getting the ball a bit too much and kind of trying to get a bit of a rhythm going. Armstrong twists and turns but he can't find a pass to beat that Kerry defence. Oh, and that's a little bit of a, a naughty lunge here. And referee straight to the pocket for the first time tonight. It's going to be Martin, I think O'Connor actually played it off his standing foot but Ali Amo picks up the scraps. Longford starting to move it a little bit smoother now. Here's Walsh again. Walsh really happy to step into the midfield from the centre-back position. He gives the ball out wide to Elworthy. Elworthy with a good flow across in towards Adeyemo. That was well cleared at the back post by Barrett. Walsh takes it down. He thought about a shot for a moment or two. It had set up. Yeah, yeah. Nearly hiding from it at times, but he's screaming for it there every time the ball is in and around him. He wants to be on the ball involved in the game. Do you want to name some of them players that used to do that? No. no <laughs> maybe at half-time when the mics are off. Here's Wickstead again. Lovely first-time ball forward to Whitmarsh. Whitmarsh into Adeyemo, Adeyemo on the turn but he snatched at it, that was a big chance, probably the best opening we've seen for either. Wickstead was screaming, screaming ball for ball inside, yes a great little pass from Armstrong into Wickstead, here's Whitmarsh out to Kyle O'Connor, Connor to Wickstead, gets it back from him, turns down the chance to cross it first time, Wickstead opened up a yard for a potential shot, he gives it inside to Serenyuk instead, I wonder if maybe Adeyemo might have been offside if he had received that. That was good patient shot, he just snatched at it and it ran wide, but fairly even Stevens so far. Longford Town with more of the possession, but struggling to break down what's been a resolute carry defence. Well, he's just showed a little bit too much of it there to Adeyemo, it falls to Whitmarsh. Whitmarsh had a shot at the open goal. And that is a huge let off there for the Kerry debutant, wow. Lee Axworthy. He just showed a little bit, Ethan Koss. The other new signing at the back tonight, former UCD man. Oh, and Gaxa goes down inside the Longford Town penalty area, but it's actually Gaxa that's going to be penalised, and he's been booked as well, so I'm not sure whether he's been penalised for simulation or whether it... For, I, I couldn't see it been for a jersey pull. No, I think he, it must be for a simulation for going... Elworthy to Sir Denniuk. That's nice link-up play. This is much better from Longford. Look at the pace of this attack from Longford Town. It's Shane Elworthy. Ball in towards Whitmarsh. Oh. And Whitmarsh gets his head on it. I think he had been penalised oh, anyway. Free out, yeah. He yeah. Just, you could see he just threw the arm into the back of the defender there. Just Up towards Gaxa. Probably not the best choice for that one. He's one of the smaller players on the pitch. He was up against two big Longford Town centre-halves. And here's the chance for Elworthy to break forward once again. Good control from the town captain. Elworthy. Looking for options inside, he only had really Whitmarsh to try and pick out, he but his ball in was a decent one because it he forced done Kerry extremely into the well. Yeah. He done extremely well. Uncertainty, as they'd say, and that forced Kerry into the clearance, and it'll be a corner now. For five Town five minutes to go. Head into the last five minutes of the first half. It's Wickstead to go across and take this one for Longford. Wickstead, that's a decent ball in. It was towards Aaron Walsh. Gary Armstrong follows it up! Oh, what a finish what a Gary strike. Armstrong! He scored a screamer down in Waterford last week and he's repeated the trick here a bit. He's fired up as well, you know. Yeah, he's starting to enjoy himself out there now, Elworthy. He takes a quick throw in. It's taken down by Whitmarsh. That's good defending though from Gleeson who tries to launch a counter-attack but Longford Town are not letting Kerry oh, out. Oh, there's an off-the-ball incident yeah, here. It's, it's Walsh that's gone down. It looked like he was involved with Okwute. What a tackle that is from Louis Temple. And Temple having a little word with Okwute. <laughs> There's O'Connell back to Gaxa again. Cross to Silong. Finds Gaxa once more. Good ball down the left to Sean O'Connell. Takes a touch. Cross in. And it's a chance for Kerry. And Wickstead has managed to get something on him. The referee is going to give a penalty here. So he must feel there's a handball. That's the only conclusion I can come to. A long enough wait here for Gaxa to strike this one. There was just a couple of his own teammates encroaching on the area so they had to be ushered out by the referee Ollie Moran but Gaxa keeps his cool just about Brady got 
fingertips on it but he's unable to keep that one out and we are level right at the start of the second half a bit free straight away but maybe a bit of a delay but I don't think the carry bench were too happy with no, it no they were straight to their feet but there was there was clear contact on uh, on O'Connor there yeah. and the but again we, we saw that from Kerry in the first half getting bodies around Longford Town players when they're in possession and there's a piece for handball there we're a long way away from it but the ball did skip up and Jordan Adeyemo who was close as he was zipped, lost his footing for a moment and that allows Nathan Gleeson to come forward with the ball and Jack Brady's come a long way from home and oh, Brady, he's been cleaned out yeah and linesman with the flag referee wasn't going to give that one he's not happy about no, that and the linesman's have to step in oh, here and, and now he's, he's gone down here Jack Brady of course Brady was involved with an incident here not so long ago with Enda Curran and it was Brady that was sent off that night it's Brady that's on the deck this time it was McGrath there that was uh, trying to get on the end, end of that one but we're seeing the likes of McGrath Gaxon and Woody have a lot more touches in the final third so as I said Kerry will be starting to dream of the possibilities of a second win of the season but they've got some defending to do and that's a mistake that's allowed a chance for James Duna just left the ball behind him came uh, off the arm of Elworthy it was definitely accidental but that's always going to yeah. be punished by the referee but uh, they're going well, their I way as well I don't think it's time to panic just yet Kieran. Yep. Uh, there's plenty of football to be played and there's definitely been a long, long for the reaction here they've got a free kick in a good position it's a clever one down the line for Wickstead to Whitmarsh Whitmarsh tries to cross it in it's blocked down it's cleared away is it yes no it comes to Wickstead who gets a shot on goal good save from Axworthy turned it away from goal and then he gets down onto one knee to turn that one around the post that's another good ball forward from Axworthy that's well dealt with though by Dylan Hand and O'Connell just thought about coming and almost lost his foot and he eventually did go to our oh, lovely feet from Tehan and that's a good ball over the top to Gaxa this could be a big chance for Kerry Gaxa dribbles it into the area Gaxa with the shot on goal but into the side netting and that's one of those where he has to be going across and Brady takes command of that that's good play from both Brady and Temple Temple just had to trust his goalkeeper as I said Brady give it an early call so when you're in that situation you just have to trust your goalkeeper ball down the line for Daly he's quick and he's kept this in play and this could go absolutely anywhere and that's really acrobatic goalkeeping from Axworthy he's made a couple of important Island. As you said, it could have just went anywhere. It could have slipped in, but... He's really had to stretch. That's a great save. Good to see this one's just going to go straight into the box. We hope. It's Wickstead. Gives a little shuffle. Wickstead floats it in towards the front post. And there's Christian McGerson. Super sub. Thank you. Third goal of the season. Get. Spur on the town here to... A big three points. Again, that looks like a, a foul throw to me, but play goes on. Oh. Lovely back heel from Whitmarsh. gershie has got a player over the far side. That's James Duna, slightly behind Duna. Duna. Oh, that's a brilliant tackle there from Barrett, who's been excellent so far tonight for Kerry. Ball. He certainly is a big target for them now. Keane tries to spread one in behind to Gaxa, who looks offside to me. Kelleher, though, gets oh, onto the loose one. Good there. McGerson had come short. Armstrong went long, but Whitmarsh is still giving chase. And Axworthy has run into Whitmarsh. And he's gone down. And two players go down. That was a high velocity collision there between the two of them. I think. Great bit of defending again from Louis Temple. And what has the referee decided here? I think he's going to give a free kick to it's Kerry. Free, but it's quite a late call. And yeah. there's, a, there's a bit of words. What a it's a red card, is it for Bastion Heary? 